Welcome to worship with the Universalist Unitarian Church in Peoria. I'm the Reverend Jennifer Innes. It is my great joy to be the minister of this congregation, along with the members and friends, children and youth of all ages and at all stages of life. This is a community that freely chooses to gather and engage with the big questions, such as how to live this life well, how to add to our circle of support as each of us tries to make sense of our world, and what does it mean to contribute to the health and care of the earth, our home? Those questions also include big ones such as how to play well with others. This one's theme is indeed play, and we consider the question of how to be a people of play. This morning's worship begins that theme. Welcome, it is good to be together. A part of our care for the earth includes honoring the layers that are around us of the past and the present. The grounds of this congregation were the ancestral home of the Peoria people. They were here giving consideration to their big questions long before we were. This congregation supports and sustains itself largely on the gifts of time, talent, and treasure of its members and friends. Regular financial donations support the mission of the congregation in all the ways that we gather in person and online. Please make a financial donation now. The link for that is in the chat and it will also be in the slide at the end of the service. And if you are a guest or a visitor, thank you for joining us today. Please help us get to know you. All are welcome to the coffee hour after worship on Sunday. The link for the separate Zoom room is in the chat and will be in the slide at the end of the service. If you'd like to know more, contact us through the website. Now, I have two announcements. First, at noon on June 6th is our congregational meeting on Zoom. This is part of our democratic process as a congregation. Members of the congregation vote on the budget and vote on the slate of leaders for the coming year. Uh, please log in to coffee hour uh, early so that we may be ready to start the meeting on time. Second, second, the church picnic is on. The picnic will be at the Herm Farm on June, 6, June 13th at 1230 p.m. next Sunday, June 13th. Potluck is welcome. Bring the great dishes to share. And there will be COVID precautions. See announcements or contact the office for questions. And I want to thank the hospitality team for hosting this great event. Thank you so much. And finally, I have an additional note of thanks for our special music today. Uh, Jim Hicks was able to arrange for us to enjoy a bit of jazz and worship this spring. Thank you very much to Julie Clemens and the Illinois Central College Vocal Jazz students for the beautiful voices and wonderful videos. And now, let us enter into worship together. Hey everybody, come sing a song with me. Here's our note. La. Come sing a song with me. Come sing a song with me. Come sing a song with me. That I is 
is hard to find. And now with a song of love and a rose in the winter time, come share a rose with me. Come share a rose with me. Come share a rose with me. That I Sing for Justice, Sway in Hope, Play with Purchase by Reverend Gretchen Haley. Whatever beat is moving through your bones, whatever holy disturbance is rising in your chest, whatever good word you've got for the good of the whole, clap it, snap it, and bring it out, call it out, take the beat, add to it, change it, make it yours. Gathered here in this sweet beauty, this power, bring all that you are and let it out. Let us not waste this time. Let us make a joyful noise, a more interesting sound, a fuller call, a greater yes. Say it with me, yes, call out hello and amen, woohoo, and yes. Sing for justice, sway in hope. Play with purpose, this time is precious. You are precious. And all of us, this chance is a gift. Each breath is a gift. Being all together is a gift. Let us celebrate, find a new rhythm. Write a new song, make a new march. For this longing, this dreaming, this discovery, this urgent call of this day for courageous love. Let it ring out. Come, let us worship together. We like this chalice for Unitarian Universalism. This is the Church of the Open Mind. This is the Church of the Helping Hands. This is the Church of the Loving Heart. Together, we help the earth and bring peace and justice to the world. <laughs> Good morning. Today, as we talk about play, let's have some fun. I'm going to start off with a few jokes for your enjoyment. Here goes. <clears throat> What's a pirate's favorite means of vacation travel? An RV. Why don't lobsters share? Because they're shellfish. Why did the chicken cross the playground? to get to the other slide. Why can't you starve at the beach? Because of all the sandwiches there. What do you call three ducks in a cardboard container? A box of quackers! What did the mushroom say when he wasn't invited to the party? I don't know why they didn't invite me. I'm such a fun guy. Well, there you have it. Those are the jokes, folks. I hope you enjoyed them. Because I don't know if you did. Because I can't hear you laugh. Because you're not here. Hmm. I actually think that's one of the important things about play. It's something that we so often do with others. It's a way that we can join in and deepen our connections joyfully. And I know that we're all ready to play. We have been physically apart for so long, and we are ready to be together. 
to see each other smile and hear each other laugh. I am so excited. I'd like to suggest that perhaps the spirit of play, or at least a sense of lightheartedness and fun, could help. So as we bring our Peoria UU community back together, remembering our covenant with each other to share ideas freely, listen willingly, disagree respectfully, and forgive easily, let's also remember to be kind, to not take ourselves too seriously, and to laugh along the way. So be it.
start of our reflection comes from the Reverend Sarah Lowell. Spirit of life and love, in the silence, in the stillness, we hear the call of our own heart, its tender dreams, its sorrows, its triumphs, in the silence, in the stillness. We hear the whisper of days gone by, of dreams still becoming the promise of the future. We celebrate together our individual journeys and dreams and our collective ones, knowing the journey is so much richer with others to share it. In the name of all that is holy, in the presence of all that is, we offer our prayers we offer our hopes and our wishes. Amen. In every worship, we share the joys and sorrows, names and milestones that are among us and that you have asked to be included in this time and space. We begin with sorrow. Uh, I'm sad to report that Dennis Mullinex died on May 19th. We offer our sympathy to his family and to all who knew him. Now we turn to wishes. We offer wishes for a complete and speedy recovery to Karen Tully, who is healing at home following an injury. We also offer our care and concern for Keith Berry as he prepares for surgeries in June, the first one being on June 7th. We also offer our support to Phyllis Close, who is concerned about the current violence expressed in shootings in Peoria and who hopes the future for Peoria will be a peaceful one, free from the sound of gunshots. I hear you, Phyllis. Amen. And in our larger world, this month is the official celebration of pride in lesbian, gay, bisexual, queer, and transgender communities. May we remember how existence is resistance. May all celebrations be joyful and safe. And let us also remember that pride, pride is present all through the year. Let us share one more moment in quiet. For all that is in our minds and on our hearts, for all that is in our life, we offer this space to breathe and to be present. Let us pause and breathe. Amen. From Mary Ann Rademacher, on the importance of play. Every once in a while, make no plans. Have the nerve to walk out the door and let possibilities introduce themselves. Wander, imagine, stare. Be surprised, parades will find you. Travel in your armchair, with a book, on a boat, in a car, in your thoughts or on a bike or any vehicle that will take you from the walls of your own knowing to someplace other. Other gestures, smells, words, tastes, views, look upon the world through windows other than your own. Learn to be good company for yourself. A bit of joy passes by because there was no one to go with. A party of one is sometimes the best time. Dance by yourself, anywhere there is room in your house. There is something invigorating, even a bit magic, to music, to movement, and a touch of laughter. Go ahead, dance. Enjoy participating in the unexpected. A little turn of whimsy is a gift, a quick, cold rain shower on a hot, dusty day. Enjoy flowers for no reason. Visit an old friend, greet a stranger, tell a sweet little joke in line at the grocery store. What did the snail say as he climbed on the back of the frog? Whee! Play can happen anywhere. 
You are the toy. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to consider the question of play. For all that I have children to enjoy and I have creatures such as Tigger with me along for the ride, I need reminding. And this year, this year I need reminding about play more than ever. I know for many of us this year has been uh, closed and so difficult to even think about mirth and fun and, and joy and all that ways that we're fed when we think about play or even not think and just play. But now, 
Now is this opportunity that many of us may not have quite felt before. Many of us have been fine, but many of us have not, about expanding, widening, and opening a bit at a time. I asked uh, members of the congregation and on Facebook, what does play mean to you? And no surprise that uh, even just a small sample of answers show that we contain multitudes when it comes to play. Uh, some people named how color and paint and shapes, just messing about with such things, that by itself is fun. Laughing with other grown-ups, playing a game, playing games for hours, that all of those are part of play. One of the things we get to do is have permission to kind of show our fun side when we play with the children in our lives. It might be children, it might be people we care for. It could be tickling and laughing and joking and poking. And so many of us named uh, grandchildren in particular, um, that there is nothing quite like the laughter of a child in our life. And that we teach each other games and teach each other how to play, not just the adults teaching children, but that we teach each other of all ages how to play. To be reminded, many of us talked about that simply going out for the joy of something, not necessarily with purpose, but with much purpose beyond that of having fun. Uh, laughing, dressing up to be somebody else or dressing up to figure out who you might be, uh, simply seeing the joy in somebody else, a person, a creature, such as when you play fetch, creating joy with another person or being, and that by itself is play. Uh, from other people's perspective, that to play means to experiment, uh, to try new things and not be attached to the outcome, uh, to let go and see what comes. It can be relaxing and restoring and freshing uh, to do so by yourself, um, writing, creating, but also with other people. Some of us go into the world with an attitude of play in every moment and wonder at what may come and be joyful in receiving what gets discovered. I'm a big fan, uh, and some others were, of the idea of play as uh, our work, the profound ability to be stewards of our minds and bodies and spirits that simply to explore that that is human work in the world for people of all ages and to find what really sings and makes our spark light up. That may come with the play that comes from simply playing, but simply also with joy and with the sense of work. No surprise that some of us worship and other aspects of church are play. I am so looking forward to being in a place where we can kind of do more exploring and creating together because I want to invite us all in to the experiment and the effort that is that we get to create together on Sunday morning. My colleague, Reverend Craig Schwallenberg, talks about uh, play. He is growing a ministry of games, if you will, and he talks about how play is done for fun that we learn while we play, we socialize while we play, we connect, we create, but all through the line of play is intent, the purpose to simply have fun and to live in a sense of joy and wonder. Like I said, there are multitudes among us and so much more. We have kind of a, a buffet of play, a potluck of play and how we feed ourselves and how we feed our ch each other in art and music and words and science and science fiction and fantasy, engineering and nature and dance to boldly go where no one has quite gone before. 
We get to immerse ourselves in a moment to shift our perspective on the world and see what might happen. To explore without a destination, to be present to ourselves and to each other. All of these and more. One of my favorite aspects of play is being willing to try and willing to fall. I had a chance to learn how to be willing to fall and fail. Uh, when I was in college, I had the special opportunity of taking a clown class one semester. Uh, and indeed, we, we spent the semester developing characters, experimenting, see what might happen, working up to nose, if you will, creating costumes and characters and then we went out onto campus in our costumes and were willing to be goofy and silly and not entirely make sense uh, to the life passing by. It certainly was a good opportunity to be willing to fall and fail uh, because our final exam was with a kindergarten class in the real world off campus. I will say, I'm not sure the children knew quite what to make of us, but we had a great time playing red light, green light. We played together. And play allows release and plain old silliness. Those moments of giggles and laughter, of bubbles. I think bubbles is one of the best sources of just having fun in the world. And I hope we get to have more bubbles uh, in the months to come. But on a deeper note, I mean, these are all the good things, but on a deeper note, I want to say something about how play is so powerful and radical and transformative. Because I need to acknowledge that this month is Pride Month. LGBTQ plus lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and all. All who celebrate pride this month and every month. We have the rainbows and, uh, that are a thing of beauty and joy and make you smile by themselves. And all of the stripes that include folks who are transgender, non-binary, all the sexual orientations, people who are black, indigenous, and people of color, there is space for queerness from all people in historically marginalized communities. And in case you didn't know, uh, our annual General Assembly in the Unitarian Universalist Association this month includes a drag show, a drag show, and it will be hosted by the Reverend Marcus Foliano uh, in their uh, drag persona. Uh, Marcus is a, a member of this congregation. So that our association would have a drag show as kind of a religious act says so much. All of this says to me how much play is fierce, how play is fierce in the face of oppression and erasure, in the face of needing to be present to those, to all of us whose voices have not been heard and who we need to find ways to uh, show up against systems of oppression that would say that you are not worthy, that you are not valuable. And what comes out of play is to say, yes, I am. The question behind the question of play it speaks to this fierceness as well. The question I have behind the question of play is what I want to know, what I'm also asking when I ask you, um, what is your sense of play is what do you love? What do you love? And our answers help us discover and rediscover what is of value to us. You know, what are the pathways to inspiration, celebration, 
resistance to a world that would commodify, put a price tag on each of us, when we know that we are all worthy. How people play is going to be adding to the renewal of our congregational life in this year in particular, and to the church in the 21st century. I want to know what you love, what brings you joy, that we may amplify and send that out into the world together, that we may cultivate the flexibility, the resistance, the resilience, and the capacity for creation in this congregation and in the moment. Because to play involves Trust involves a certain covenant of rules. Of It involves relationship of listening to each other and inviting each other into the joy. As a congregation, we're going into a, a year where we get to practice all of the above, all the play, all of the effort, all of the care, all of the love. And it's been a while since we really did that in person. We've been made so narrow and struggled and small when uh, this week in particular watching the news that there won't be an investigation into the attempted coup on January 6th, for example. Yet another ding in the faith in humanity and contributes to genuine concern for the state of our democracy. I mean, just that question alone. So how shall we remain resilient and open to revelation, open to new truth, as we say we hold dear? We discover the ways to play and share them as much as possible. And we get to do this together. I love already what I have seen in the congregation's ability to play. I think last fall's chalk a spot in the parking lot kind of showed us just a little bit of the creativity of uh, people of all ages sitting down on the ground and the pavement and decorating, um, sending messages, simply coloring for the sake of fun of coloring, and that we all were doing this together. We get to go to this upcoming picnic that I have heard so much about and that wasn't able to happen last year. But we get to come back to it and be in this picnic together for this year to come, for this year, for now, with each other. We need to find those ways to access passions and values and to restore one another. You and I, we, we need to play and play again and let the congregation do what it loves as an expression of love, one that is embedded with joy and revelry. Play in our congregational life. It creates connections, fulfills our promises, helps us know each other and expands our perceptions. We are able to let each other breathe and bring that breath into the world. My closing thought on play comes from Cassie Enns. Play is the sacred space where curiosity and loving guidance and acceptance lead to an expansion of the self. So let me close with that and I'll say again, play is the sacred space where curiosity and loving guidance and acceptance lead to an expansion of the self. Let us take up that opportunity, that answer to the question of how to be a people of play. Let us create that sacred space. Let us do, for, do so for ourselves. Let us do that creation for each other. May we go forth, and may we go forth and play. Amen.
gotta do when the spirit says do. You gotta do when the spirit says do. When the spirit says do, you gotta do. Oh Lord, you gotta do when the spirit says do. 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 You gotta sing when the spirit says sing. You gotta sing when the spirit says sing. When the spirit says sing, you gotta sing. Oh Lord, you gotta sing when the spirit says sing. Spirit says sing. Spirit says sing. Spirit says sing, Spirit says sing, Spirit says sing, Spirit says sing. You gotta dance when the Spirit says dance. You gotta dance when the Spirit says dance. When the Spirit says dance, you gotta dance, oh Lord. You gotta dance when the Spirit says dance. Spirit says dance, Spirit says dance. Spirit says dance, Spirit says dance, Spirit says dance, Spirit says dance. You gotta laugh when the Spirit says laugh. You gotta laugh when the Spirit says laugh. When the Spirit says laugh, you gotta laugh, oh Lord. You gotta laugh when the Spirit says laugh. Spirit says laugh, Spirit says laugh. We extinguish this flame, but not the light of truth, the warmth of community, or the power of transformation. These we carry in our hearts until we are together again. From Marianne Rademacher. Live boldly, laugh loudly, love truly. Play as often as you can. Work as smart as you are able. Share your heart as deeply as you can reach. And as you awaken, may your dreams greet you by name and may you answer yes. As you move ahead, may all your angels gather on your shoulders and may you confidently know they are with you as you rest. May all your endeavors know contentment and peace. Our worship is ended. Let our service begin. <laughs> 